afternoon. And I hope you had a wonderful day and the math class will end it off beautifully. Now this afternoon in the mathematics lesson, we want to explore number bases once again. In the last lesson, we looked at base 2 and its uses and how we can change it from base 2 to base 10, from base 10 to base 2. We also looked at how we can add numbers in base 2 and how we can also multiply numbers in base 2. Now today, we're going to look at the base 5 system and the base 8 system. And if you have been observing carefully, you would have noticed a pattern. When we say base 10, what number was in charge? 10. And in base 2, what number was in charge? 2. So if we're saying base 5, who's going to be in charge? 5. And 9 would be in charge of base 8. No. What would be in charge of base 8? 8. How many numbers are used in the base 5 system, Quincy? Five. And what are they, Maritza? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, the same pattern. Since 5 is in charge, we group by 5. 5 to the 0, 5 to the 1st, 5 to the 2nd, 5 to the 3rd. 5 to the 4th, and we can go on and on. Now let us go across to the base 8. We have 8 to the 0, 8 to the 1st, 8 to the 2nd, 8 to the 3rd. Neon, would you like to tell me the numbers that we're going to use in the base 8 system? 0, zero 1, one two, 3, Four, five, six, and seven. And seven. So there are eight numerals here, but they end at seven. Everybody observe that? There are five numerals here, but they end at four. We don't go past four. Not because you hear five. Yes, five should be in it. No. We stop at four. Now we want to compare base 5 numbers and base 8 numbers. So let us say we have 4, 3, 1, base 5 and we have 4, 3, 1, base 8. And we want to know of those two, which is the larger? Can we look at them immediately and find that? And, observe, and, and, and determine that. No, we can't. Remember when we were comparing base 2 and base 10? We couldn't. So what did we do then? We converted the numbers to the same base. We changed the base 2 to the base 10. And because they were both in the base 10, we could have compared. Now what do you think we should do to 431 base 5 and 431 base 8 to compare them? Yes, Videli, tell me. Convert the base 431 base 8 to base 5. Com change them to base 5. But remember we learned in the last lesson, it is simpler to carry them to which base? base. To the base 10. And once they're both in base 10, we can do our comparison. So let us carry both numbers to the base 10. So let's take here, we have a 4, 3, 1. And this would tell us that we have the 1 it is in the units column. So it's a 1 by a 1 plus the 3 is in the 5 column. So it's a 3 by a 5. And then we have 4 in the 5 squared column, which is 4 by 25. And 4 25 would give us, how much Maritza? 4 multiplied by 25. Yeah. 
Yes, Maritza. I didn't get that. 100. 425 is our 100. We move to the second one. Three fives, Nikolai. Three fives are? 15. 15. And then we have a 1 by a 1, which would give us a 1. So we have 100 added to 15 added to 1 would give us Quincy. 116. So we have moved 431 base 5 to 116 base 10. So you observed, I took 431 and put it into our little grid that we drew up. And then we pulled out a 1 by a 1, 3 fives and 4 25s. And I came up with 116. Now I to follow the same pattern with 431 base 8 and tell me what 431 base 8 is in base 10. What is the value of base of 431 base 8 in base 10? Yes, Neon, would you like to volunteer your answer? 281 base 10. 2 8, 1, base 10. Did you get that, Vidali? Yes, sir. Did you get that, Quincy? And I guess the others have that too. Now let us justify Neon's answer. Let us make sure that, yes, it is 2, 8, to 1. So, Neon, you're going to assist me. How did you get a, arrive at, at 2, 8, to 1? We have 1. Times one yeah. plus mm -hmm. three times eight yeah. plus four times six to four. And how did you get the number six to four? Because eight to the second, eight to the third power is six to four. Eight to the second power is six to four. Eight to the second power is six to four. And why did you use eight to the second power? Because it is in the hundreds column. You use 8 to the second power because... Why did you use 8 to the second power? Why didn't you use 8 to the third power? Because you would have skipped a column. Because you would have skipped a column and arrived here. Videli, why did he use 8 to the second power? Because the number originally had only three digits. So the last digit would have fallen here under 8 to the second. Good. So when we multiply 4 by 6 to 4, we would have? 256. 256. Plus 24. Plus 24. Plus 1. Plus 1. And when we sum 256 to 24 to 1, we end up with and. 8 to 1. So we can write 4, 3, 1, base 5. Would it be greater than or lesser than 4, 3, 1, base 8? Lesser. It would be lesser than. So for us to compare the base 5 number with the base 8 number, we had to convert the base 5 to base 10 the base 8 to base 10 and because they are in the same base now we can make our comparison and we find that 116 is lesser than 208 to 1 now let us continue on our journey remember when we had the base 2 system we moved from the base 2 to the base 10 Likewise, we move from base 5 to base 10. And then we move the opposite way. We move from base 10 to base 2. So we want to move now from base 10 to base 2. Yes, Lorianne. Give me a base 10 number that we'd want to convert to the base 2. Yes, to base 5. 
this base the number to convert to base five. Yeah. Here's you can use some base ten to right. Quickly. Mm. Yes, Maritza. Give me a base ten number that I can convert to base five. Quincy would like to have me. Nine to six. So we have nine to six base ten, and we want to change it to a base five number. Okay? But we don't know what it is in base 5 as yet. So, when we were changing from base 10 to base 2, what operation did we perform? Division. Division. So, the same thing we're going to do here again. We're going to divide 9 to 6 by 5. So, we have 9 to 6 divided by 5 would give us 19 and remainder... One. Remember we said we don't stop until we have a zero. So we go 19 divided by 5. What would we have? 3 and remainder 4. So then we have 3 divided by 5 would give us 0 and remainder 3. So, 9 to 6 base 10 would be 3, 4, 1 base 5. So, we convert it from base 10 to base 5. Now, let us find out what 9 to 6 in base 10 would be in base 8. So, let us put 9 to 6 under the base 8 here. So, we have 9 to 6 base 10. And we want to take it to base 8. 9 to 6 in base 5 is 3, 4, 1. Let us see what it's going to be in the base 8. So we start our division. 9 to 6 divided by 8 would give us... Yes, Videli, help me out. 12. 12 remainder 0. zero. We continue, 12 divided by 8, Quincy, 1 remainder 4, then we have 1 divided by 8 and that would give us, Leon, 0, zero remainder eight. 1. So our number 96 base 10 to base 8 would be 1, 4, 0, base 8. 1, 4, 0. So you would look at 3, 4, 1, base 5 and 1, 4, 0, base 8. And you wouldn't have a clue that the value of both of them is 9 to 6 in base 10. But now you know you can because you can take these two and change them using this method here to base 10. Okay? So we can change from base 5 to base 10. We can change from base 8 to base 10. And we can make comparisons. And then we can move from base 10 to base 5. And from base 10 to base 8. And if you would observe, the same pattern we had in base 10, the same pattern we would have used in base 2, the same pattern came across to both base 5 and base 8. So, let's continue the journey in number basis. Good, now let's continue our exploration by performing the operation of addition. 
Now first we're going to add in the base 5 system and then we're going to move to the base 8. So we have 430 base 5 and we want to add that to 1, 3, 2 base 5. When the 2 is added to the 0, we have a 2. When the 3 is added to the 3, we have a base 6 and 6. But remember that we can't use the 6 in base 5. So we're going to have to rewrite 6 using numerals from 0 to 4. And 6 would be 1, 5 and 1 remainder. So 6 is written as 1, 1. So we have the 1 here and the, rem and the, and the first 5 we take across to the next column. So 1 and 4, 5 and 1, 6. 6 is written as 1, 1. So we have 1, 1. So when 4, 3, 0 is added to 1, 3, 2, our answer is 1, 1, 1, 2 to the base 5. Now it's time for you to try. So you're going to find the sum of 3, 1, 4 and 2, 0, 1. So I guess you have an answer by now. Lorianne will take your answer. When 3, 4, 1 is added to 2, 0, 1, both base 5, the sum is 0, you're starting from the right, yes? Zero, two, zero, one. So when these two numbers are summed, our answer is one zero two zero to the base five. So here we have performed the operation of addition. Now we're going to move from addition to multiplication. So our first example would be 4, 3, 1, and we want to find the product of that, and 1, 1. So we set them down, 4, 3, 1, multiplied by 1, 1, 1, we add our 0. And we know when 1 is multiplied by these up here, we have a 1, a 3, and a 4. And when the second one is multiplied by every one on top, we have a 1, a 3, and a 4. Find the sum, and somebody give me the answer. So Vileli has 1, 4, 2, 0, 1, and this is the base, 5. So the product of 4, 3, 1, and 1, 1 would give us 1, 0, 2, 4, 1 to the base, 5. So we have added and we have, sub we have, added and we have multiplied in the base, 5 system. Now we want to add and multiply in the base, 8 system. So we're going to add first in the base 8. We have 7, 5, 3 is being added to 2, 4, 6. Find the sum and give me my answer. Fideli, would you like to volunteer yours? One. Left, from the left? From the right. On the right. One. One, two. Two. Two, one. Two, one. To the base eight. Now let's check that. Six and three would give us a nine. 
and the 9 is written as a 1, 1. So the 1 comes there. 5 and 4 would be 9, and 1 is a 10. 10 is written as 1, 2. So we bring up the 2. Then we have 1 and 7, 8 and 2, 10. 10 is written as a 1, 2 again. So we bring up the 2 and then the 1. So we have the sum of 7, 5, 3 and 2, 4, 6 in base 8 is 1, 2, 2, 1. And then we're going to multiply now in base 8. We want to find the product of 1, 6, 3 and 1, 1. So we'd add our 0 and again we'd have 3, 6, 1 and we'd have 3, 6, 1. And when we sum the 2 we'd have 3, 6 and 3 is a 9, 9 is a 1, 1, 6 and 1, 7, and 1, 8, 8 is written as 1, 0, and 1 and 1 is 2. So the product of 1, 6, 3 and 1, 1, base 8, would be 2, 0, 2, 0 1, 3, base 8. Now let us recap what we did this afternoon. We looked at the base 5 system and the base 8 system. And we compared the two when we started. We identified numbers and we wanted to know which one was larger. So we said we must first change them to the base 10 system where they would both be in the same system and then we can compare their values. We change from one base, base 5 to base 10, base 8 to base 10, and then we also change numbers from base 10 to base 5 and to base 8. We also perform the operations of addition and multiplication in base 5 and base 10. Now look here very carefully. Lesson 3. In lesson 3, we're looking at number theory and number basis. In this lesson, we will state the place value of a digit in a numeral and multiply in the base 5 and 8 number system. Here are some key points. 2, 4, base 5 is read as 2, 4 to base 5. We avoid reading this as 24 to base 5. Base 10 digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Base 8 digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Base 5 digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now let us compare and contrast the two bases. We're grouping by 8 and regrouping by 5. We have 2, 3, 4 to the base 8 and we have 2, 3, 4 to the base 5. Is 2, 3, 4 base 8 equal to 2, 3, 4 base 5? Think of it. Let us convert base 5 to base 10. Grouping by 5. So we have 2, 3, 4 base 5 and if we expand that we will have 2 multiplied by 5 to the second power, which is added to 3 by 5 to the first power, and then that is added to 4 by 5 to the zero power. And then we have 50 plus 15 plus 4, and that is equal to 69, the base 10, which is larger. 1, 0, base 8, or 1, 0, 0, base 5. Now let us find out. 1, 0, base 8. If we expand it, we will have 1 by 8 to the first power plus 0 by 8 to the 0 power. And that gives us 8 
please. Ten. Now five. One zero zero is five. It's equal to one by five to the second power. Add it to zero by five to the first power. Add it to zero by five to the zero power. And here we have an answer. 25 to the base 10. So when you ask the question which is larger, we can say 100 base 5 is larger than 10 base 8. Now let us convert base 10 to base 5. We have 123 or 123 base 10, and we have no idea what that is equal to in the base 5, so we need to find out. We take 123 and we divide it by 5. And then 123 divided by 5, we have 24 with a remainder of 3. So we continue our division. 24 divided by 5 is equal to 4 with a remainder of 4. Remember, we have to divide until our quotient is 0. 4 divided by 5 equals 0, remainder 4. So, 123 base 10 is equal to 443 base 5. A little note of reminder, the division process continues until quotient is 0. So here we have the division process continuing until our quotient is 0 here. So our answer is 4. We can add in base 5 to a 0 added to a 0 to 0. A 0 added to a 1 to 1. A 0 added to a 2 is a 2. And of course, if we add 0 to 3, we get 3, and the same goes for 4. Now let us try the second digit, which is 1. When 1 is added to 0, we have a 1. 1 is added to 1, we have a 2, and we can write the numeral 2 here, because in the base 5 system, we can use the digit 2. When 1 is added to a 2, we have a 3. When 1 is added to a 3, we have 4. And when 1 is added to 4, we have a 5. But remember, we're using the base 5 system, and we cannot use the digit 5. Now 5 can be written as 1, 0. Now let us go to 2. 2 added to 0 is a 2. And 2 added to 1 will be 3. 2 added to 2 will be 4. And when we add 2 to 3, we will have 5. Again, remember when we were across here, we said 5 can be written as 1, 0. So that's what we have here. And then 2 is added to 4, we have a 6, which is written as a 1, 1. Now let us go to the 3. 3, when added to 0, it gives us a 3. When added to the 1, it gives us a 4. When added to the 2, it gives us a 5, which is written as 1, 0. 3 added to 3 will give us a 6, which is written as 1, 1. And when 3 is added to 4, we have 7. And you know that 7 is not allowed in the base 5 system. So we write 7 as 1, 2. The last one is 4. And when 4 is added to 0, we have a 4. 4 added to 1 is 5. And you're familiar with 1, 0 by now. 4 added to 2 is 6, which is a 1, 1. 4 added to 3 is 7, 1, 2. And 4 added to 4 is written as 1, 3, which is the same as 8. So we have to be very careful when we're adding in the base 5 system. The only numerals you should see are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now here is a little illustration how we got 1, 3. When we sum 4 and 4, we have 8. So we do our division. When 8 is divided by 5, we have 1 and remainder 3. The quotient here is 1 and not 
zero, so we have to divide it. One divided by five equals zero, remainder one. We can multiply in the base five system. Now let us multiply in the base five. Zero multiplied by zero is zero. And we know that if we multiply these digits up here by zero, our product will be nothing but zero. If we multiply one by zero, we're gonna have zero again. One multiplied by one is one. One multiplied by two is two. When we multiply one by three, we get three. And one by four will give us a four. Two multiplied by zero will give us a zero. Two multiplied by one would be two. Two multiplied by two would be four. Now remember four is permitted. We can use four in the base five system. Now when we multiply two by three, we have six. And six is written as one, one. And two by four would give us eight. And eight is written as one, three. Now the pattern continues. Three by zero is a zero. Three by one is one. Three by two would be six. Six is written as one, one. Three by three would be nine, which is one, four. Multiply by zero again here. We have zero. One by one is one. One by two is two. One by three would be three. And one by four would be four. Now let's multiply by two. Two multiplied by zero would give us a zero. Two multiplied by one would give us a two. 2 multiplied by 2 would give us a 4. 2 multiplied by 3 would give us a 6. And remember, we cannot see the digit 6. Now, in the base 5 system, remember, 6 is written as 1, 1. And when we go to 2 multiplied by 4, we have 8, and 8 is written as 1, 3. Now, let us proceed to multiplying by 3. 3 multiplied by 0 is 0 again. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. And again we have 1, 1. 3 multiplied by 3 would give us 9. And I hope you're not wondering why you're not seeing the digit 9. Yes, 9 is not allowed in the base 5 system. So 9 is rewritten as and three fours are 12, which is written as 2, 2. And finally, we come to the 4. When 4 is multiplied by 0, we have 0. When 4 is multiplied by 1, we have 4. And 4, 2 are 8, which is a 1, 3. Remember here, 8. Then 4, 3 is 12. 2, 2. And four fours are 16, which is a 3, 1. How did we get 3, 1? The product of 4 and 4 is 16. 16 is not a numeral that we can use in the base 5 system. So we take the 16 and divide it by 5. On our first division, we have 3 with remainder 1. 3 is not a zero. So we have to divide until we have a zero. 
3 divided by 5 equals 0, remainder 3. So here we have our 3, 1 after having a quotient of 0. Now let's look at example 1. Calculate in base 5 the product of 3, 1, 2 base 5 and 4 base 5. Solution. Now here we have set down our example and 3, 1, 2 is being multiplied by 4. 4, 2 are 8. 8 is written as 1, 3. The remaining 3 is put under the card. 4, 1 are 4. And we add this 1 that makes us make, gives us 5. 5 is written as 1, 0. The 0 remainder is put under the second card. 4 3 are 12. If we add this 1 to 12, we have 30. When 30 is divided by 5, we have 2 3. And the 2 3, since this is our final division or multiplication, is taken across here. So the product of 3 1 2 and 4 in the base 5 will give us 2 3 0 3. The base 5. Now let's move on to example 2. In example 2, we are multiplying in the base 8 system. We want to find the product of 6, 3, 2, base 8, and 6, the base 8. Solution. So here we have set down our problem and we begin our multiplication. 6 2's are 12, written as 1, 4 to the base 8. The 4, which is the remainder, is taken down to the first column. 6, 3 are 80, plus this 1 gives us 19. When 19 is divided by 8, we have 2, 3. The 3 is the next digit that is moved and put into the second column. Now we move 6, 6, 2 are 36. When we add this 2, we have 38. Now we proceed to divide by 8. When 38 is divided by 8, we have a 4, 6. Now since this is our last multiplication followed by division, we take the entire 4, 6 and put it here. So the product of 6, 3, 2 and 6 in the base 8 is 4, 6, 3, 4 to the base 8. Now on to example 3. 1, 4, 3 to the base 8 multiplied by 3 to the base 8 is... Now what is the answer going to be in base 8? Let us find out. We have four responses. Is it A, 1, 4, 0? Or B, 1, 4, 6? Or maybe C, 4, 2, 9. Or D, 4, 5, 1. Which one is it? The answer is D. Now this question was taken from the National Grade 9 examination in 2006. Now we have example 4. We have 3, 4, 3 being added to 3, 2, 1. And that is equal to 1, 2, 1, 4. The question we have in what base is the addition above done? Do you have the answer? Let us find out. Is it A, base 3, or B, base 5, or C, base 6, or D, base 10? Yes, it's B, base 5. And again, this question was taken from the National Grade 9 Examination written in the year 2005. Summary. 4 plus 1 in base 5 is 1, 0. 1, 0. 8 reads as 1, 0 to base 8 and not 10 to base 8. When we multiply in any base, 
we do the ordinary multiplication in the ten, then convert to the required base before recording product. Yes, we will not leave before giving you some problems to practice. We're continuing in the same text, Mathematics of Secondary Schools in Guyana, Book 3. And today's question will be taken from page 4. Exercise 1C and 1D. For exercise 1C, you will answer questions 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And for exercise 1D, I know you will have fun responding to questions 2, 6, 8, and 12. Now let us look at the solution for the problems we were given in the last lesson. They were taken from page 3, exercise 1b. Question 2, you have to find the product of 101 and 10 base 2. And that product was 1010 base 2. Question 4, you have to find the product of 1011 and 11. And when the product was found, the answer turned out to be 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 to the base 2. Quite a lot of zeros. Question 6. We needed a product of 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1. And the answer is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 to the base 2. And if you observe, as we have said before, in the base 2 system, we only use zeros and 1s. So here we continue. Question 8. The product of 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 1. And we have a 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 to the base 2. For question 10, we proceeded to find the product of 1, 1, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 0. And the product was 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 to the base 2. And always remember to write this little 2 at the bottom here in your answer. And the last question, which is question 12, we wanted the product of 1, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1. And the product is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 to the base 2. Now let us go on. For question 14, you were asked to find the product of 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 1. And the product of those two numbers in the base 2 is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now let us move on to 16. You were asked to find the product of 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 0, 0. And the product of those two numbers is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 to the base 2. In question 18, the product of 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 0, 1 was required and we have a pretty long answer we have one zero one zero one 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 zero to the base two good i hope you had fun today and i hope that when i gave my end of term test everybody would score a hundred percent okay good